Hello everybody, this is Wolfpack Gaming. Today I'll be showing you how to make a completely custom outro in DaVinci Resolve 12.5. So, I have all my clips that I need in the media pool. Uh, you can have more than this, I just like having this because it's easier to render out because my CPU is kind of old and doesn't have that many cores on it. So I'm going to go into my edit. And so I'm going to put my background in first. It doesn't matter on the length of this because we can change it later. And I'm going to bring in some text. Now the text is just a PNG file that is transparent on the background. So I'm going to reset the playhead to zero. And now I'm going to bring in my very first clip. This is just some Peggle. Uh, it's nothing special. It's just it's five seconds. Uh, these matter however long you want the intro. I have this as five seconds. You can have it as 10, 30. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to stretch these two pictures to be five seconds. And now I'm going to delete the audio. Now when you first get a video in here, it's going to have the audio linked. So the audio will be stuck together like this. So the audio is down here. And you can't delete this without deleting that. So to get rid of that, you click this little button here, or Control shift l and then click on another, another thing, and it'll delink the audio. So now you want to delete this clip, or clip one audio. And so we need to make this smaller. So you'll click this, so when you first start out it'll be off. You want this little box to appear and then shrink it down and then put that there for now. And then I'm going to select the text and put that at the top. And then I'm going to select clip one again and put it eh, about in the middle. And then bring in your second clip or your third clip, it doesn't really matter. Now, and then cut it down to as far as you want delete the audio and then shrink it down again yeah, they're, they're about different sizes but this isn't going to be an official one alright so let's say you want it to be grayed out whenever so halfway through the first video it'll gray it out or darken it so I'm going to move this a out to the middle of the clip and I'm just gonna eyeball it doesn't really matter and I'll select clip number two first and then click at the top right click at the top and hit add marker and I'm gonna make this one blue and click on the other video right click add marker cyan this will just make it easier in the end so now you're gonna click on your one of the videos hit control key and then backslash so that'll split it into two different videos and this first one or second depending control key backslash so now we have technically four video four videos right here so now we're going to color grading at the bottom now you're going to want to select your first video well this would be the second video on the timeline really you want to turn the gain down to I'm going to do 0 0.25 Okay, and now select your second video. Well, this would be your first video, so this would be that one. And then again, turn the gain down to 0 0.25. So now if we watch it back in the editing, this will be grayed out, and then that one will gray out, and this one will be on. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Like, subscribe. There will be links in the description for everything I mentioned. See ya.